everybody today I am going to make a steak uh, with one of my smoke rub and I'm also going to bake a potato with one of, with another one of my rubs so for the steak I am using my smoke rub and for the potato I am using my sweet smoke rub right so now we need a sauce to go on that steak so what I'm thinking to do is to put a simple uh, sauce together using balsamic vinegar, red wine, and stock. So let's get into the kitchen and put this very simple steak sauce together. Let's go. So once we put the balsamic vinegar in a pot, we're going to let that reduce to half of the amount. And then we're going to add in the red wine. I'm going to let that reduce a little. Then we're going to add in the stock. Once that is added, we're going to make a roux. So the roux is basically uh, butter and flour. Now we're not going to make a typical roux like cooking it on the stove at no. We're going to put some flour, butter, bring it to a bowl. I will show you before I put it in the pot because I don't want the video to be too long. So we're going to put the flour and the butter in a bowl, bring it to a bowl and then just throw it in the pot and just, just bring it together with the sauce. That's just an easier way to make the roux instead of the traditional way of making a roux. So that's how we will make the roux to put into that sauce just to thicken it up a little. All right, so let's get back to this recipe. To begin, I am going to add the balsamic vinegar and I am going to let this reduce to half of the amount. All of the measurements would be in the description. Now I'm adding the red wine and once that has come to a boil, I am going to add my stock. Alright, so let me just show you. Typically, to make life easy, sometimes you know you just want to grab and go, especially when you're in the kitchen a lot and trying to put recipes together. So this is the rule that I was talking about. I just have butter and I have flour. I bring it together and I just have it in the fridge. If I need some, I just pinch out piece and put into whatever sauce that I am making. All right. It's just a, a, a little easy way for me to just get through what I'm doing faster. Now, if I am making something like a real creamy pasta dish, I would do the traditional rule. But for something like this type of sauce, I would I would do something like this. Just easy to go, you know. All right. So I just need to come and just explain, <laughs> explain that a little more. So, so now let's get back to the recipe. Now I am going to add my roux, and I am going to swizzle that until it is properly well dissolved. And once everything has smoothed out. And it has incorporated properly into the mixture note please be careful with the salt because remember the roux has salt the balsamic vinegar is very salty so you I just use two tablespoons of my stock all right so now we're going to do the steak we are going to sear the steak so this is what I'm going to do nothing too fancy just to let the pan slowly build up in heat what i would do i would have it on medium low and let it take its time and build up in heat so that way we have a perfectly heated pan to sear our meat so what i'm adding to the pan is some chili some whole chili all i do all i did was remove the seeds and i'm going to just add that to the oil that i lightly baste the pan with and I'm going to do that to see it. So let's get back into the kitchen. Um, put our beef together. Let's go. After washing my steak properly, I am going to add my spice mixture. As I said, I am launching my brand shortly, so I don't want to give too much away, too much of information on the spice. As I said, I'll do a live launch on youtube also so look out for that so i am testing my sweet smoke rub and my smoke rub one for the beef and the other on the potato so once my rub is totally covered onto my steak 
I am going to set that aside and let that marinate for a little bit. Let's see about the potato after washing um, and putting some holes in my potato, put some salt and some of my sweet smoke rub on the potato. I am going to place that into the oven. Beside cutting the potato, I also took the fork and punched little holes also. You don't need to do that with a fork because you already placed the hole. If you wasn't cutting the potato up, then you would need to do that. So now I am going to put the steak on the fire. I'm using some chili and I'm going to let that chili infuse the oil and I am going to cook it on a each side for five minutes as you are seeing on the screen total cooking time is 10 minutes so i have it on medium low heat and i am going to let that stay for five minutes five minutes on each side all right so let me show you what it looks like you're probably thinking but i didn't see her add any salt no i didn't add any salt because one my steak sauce has a lot of salt in it because of the balsamic vinegar and the stock that i placed in there my potato has a lot of salt in it and my spice mixture already has a lot of salt in it so there's a lot of salt in this meal already so i didn't need to add any other salt when i place this meat to marinate before cooking all right, so I'm at five minutes in now. I'm going to turn the steak on its side. As you hear, the alarm is going off. So let's turn across the steak, turn across the steak. Let's turn the steak around uh, for, for the next five minutes. Let's do this. Now I'm going to turn and let it cook again for five minutes on the other side. And then we're ready to go. I started to bake the potato prior to putting the meat together so by the time the meat is finished my potato will also be done at the same time so i'll have a proper hot meal all right so we're at the end here now so i'm going to place it on a rack just for it to cool out and let it relax and that's when you'll get the best best flavor and juices from your meat when you let that meat sit and relax in it, all its juices right and it was really flavorful and enjoyable and as i said why i didn't need to use the fork as you're clearly seeing why because i already had sliced my potatoes and i placed salt and some of my sweet smoke rub on there i also have some of the steak sauce to dip and some pepper sauce to go along with this meal so there's a lot of salt there's a lot of flavor so now that my meat has rested for about 10 minutes, let's get into this meat. Let's see how perfectly it's cooked and how much the steak rub that we placed on this infused properly into this meat along with the dipping sauce. And don't forget the link for my pepper sauce would be above. Full of flavor, combined with sauce, wonderful combination. Hope you give this recipe a try. You won't regret it. And don't forget, shortly my rubs will be available for purchase. Thanks for watching another episode of Kendall's Corner.